Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Nelson here. And today we have a special issue of optometrists riding in cars, summarizing journals. It's a short clip because it's a short drive to work. Good optometry morning. All right, so today's issue is in the April 2020 Journal of Optometry. The title of the article is the effects of light scatter while using a photochromic versus a non-photochromic contact lens. And yes, you heard correctly, and shame on you if you didn't know, because it's been on, already on the market for at least a year, there is a photochromic contact lens on the market. Some of you that have had experience with this lens will know that it will sometimes reduce the amount of glare indoors. That's what this study is looking at. So this study looked at three types of glare. Number one, light scatter, number two, halos, number three, starburst. And it looked at that type of glare under three lens circumstances. Number one is in a control lens. This is a clear, non-photochromic contact lens. Then they took a photochromic contact lens in the non-activated state, that's in the clear state. And then they took a photochromic lens in the darkened state. What did the study find? Well, not surprisingly, the photochromic darkened lens compared to the control clear lens showed a significant reduction in all three types of glare, probably a 30 to 40% reduction in the glare. But it wouldn't take a rocket scientist to kind of predict this. Surprisingly, what the study did show was when you looked at the photochromic non-activated lens, so this is a photochromic lens in the clear state, and you compared it to the control lens, that's the clear lens, that lens also showed a reduced reduction in all three types of glare. The take home is if you experience glare indoors, you may want to consider using this photochromic contact lens. So if you've had experience with this contact lens or something similar to what this study shows, feel free to leave a comment. And since we're at work, have a great optometry day.